you get older, you and your dad, you are becoming really great mates, which is so beautiful. Absolutely, it's amazing. Um, it's I think you know, as we were saying, you become more of a friend, yeah, as opposed to the. I'm the leader and you are the follower yeah. and I'm teaching you because you're my child. And as much that I think that will always exist in a mother, daughter, father, daughter relationship, yeah. child, parent relationship, um, I think you get to enjoy more because mm. you're just, you're both got on this neutral level going, oh, what about that? What do you think about that? And you're yeah. just exchanging thoughts and it's like a friendship. So, um, yeah, I just... I just, I'm loving, loving, loving the relationship now that I'm so older. Because nice. he was quite strict with you when you were... Well, he was in the army for 20 and a bit years. Wow, um, right. And Brigade RSM, which is quite a high position. So it was quite um, regimented at home. Right. And everything was very organised, scheduled, coordinated. Um, you know, dinner was seven, dinner was seven. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, wow. And I look back now and I loved that upbringing and I love that strict yeah. you know, world because um, and there's benefits of both you know mum was a little bit more relaxed and that was incredible for us as well because you need I think you need a balance of both yeah. um, but just in terms of the way that dad was uh, being strict enabled us to develop those qualities of you know Things need to be done. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And also you don't realise at the time that you want rules. Like I would mm. have, mum was a single mum as well and she would, um, she was, we, we just respected her so much that we wouldn't cross boundaries with her. But I'd go to friends' houses that there were no rules or anything and I'd be like, <gasps> <gasps> after like, ten, you know, you stay the night there, you're like, I want to go home where there's rules. Yeah. Where I know that boundaries and, Yeah, there know? is a safety net. Yeah. You know? And I think it's. It's tricky to try, as a parent, it's really tricky to try and pinpoint where you make the strict rules yes. and where you let the creativity flow. I know. Because if it's too strict, yeah. then you're blocking their productivity and development and growth. Yes. And if it's too not strict, yeah. then they just turn into this crazy, uncontrollable. So it's like, okay, where do we draw the lines? And I've, you know, we just judge it on a daily basis yeah and I really try and listen and engage and feel Violet and Dominic as much as possible Dominic not so much because he's still in a pram and just yeah. sleeps and eats and poos and craps and that's yeah. it but with Violet I try and manage it on a daily basis mm. so um, I'm strict about bedtime I'm strict about food right. and I'm strict about um, her nap time yeah uh, things like that you know timings and routine but I'm not strict about uh, her voicing an opinion or having a play or yeah, um, making a mess or making a mess. Yeah. Hygiene, in particular, like if we're at a cafe and she wants to go run and talk to the waiter, I'm not too strict. You know, I let it yeah. kind of evolve whilst being, um, you know, making sure I'm taking care of her. Yeah, yeah. But I try and let her creativity evolve because yeah. I think that's where she's really developing um, her personality.